Well, it's not often you see a museum on wheels, but this week, a busium, a retrofitted school bus, was parked next to the Clayton Jackson McGee Memorial in Duluth. The Trallian exhibit features a reflection on racism's origins and explores the context of lynchings and related social issues of the 1920s. Videographer Steve Ash visited the bus on Tuesday and put together this story. We invite people in, they look at the panels, they watch a video they wouldn't otherwise have seen. Are you ready for films? And then we go to the next town, and we've been to northern Minnesota logging camps, inner city Chicago ghettos, we've been to western Nebraska uh, cow towns, so we take history to where the people are. Uh, we go all over the Midwest, and we take stories that otherwise wouldn't be known, that's why this exhibit, I think it's our eighth, it's called Hidden or Forbidden No More. These are stories that people don't know about, and if they did, they don't want to talk about them. For example, most poignant here in Duluth, and that's why we're here, um, we talk about the tens of thousands of clan members who were in the Midwest in the 20s. I only found out late in life that my great-grandfather was in the Iowa clan. There were tens of thousands everywhere. They were in Duluth, they're everywhere. And so this tragic, ghastly lynching story, it's part of a larger story of the social and political instability of the 20s. Right after World War I, after all that German hate, the anti-German hysteria of the war, you had prohibition, which was new. People were getting anxious and upset. You had the flu pandemic that just happened. So people were in a tizzy. And one of the things that we tell uh, here in this exhibit, really it's by implication, this is a, a moral tale. When a society becomes so divided and so politically unstable, horrible things can happen. Our five subtopics all have concurrent mm, parallels in the modern day. Um, the pandemic, 1918 racial relations in the 20s, but also the cow war. I mean, we talk about um, social unrest in the, in the Great Depression. So each one of our stories, the anti-German hysteria, there were serious proposals to put a wall around Wisconsin and, and wall in all those disloyal Germans. Well, we're still talking about walling people in or out. So that's what we're working on, is we bring these hidden and forbidden stories and we say, no more. We need to know this stuff. Are we learning from that? What's my obligation? And when I find out that my great-grandfather was part of this franchise, hate, institutionalized hate, I'm not guilty, but I have an obligation to make a better world. I can't change everybody and everything, but I can do this.